Back in the 1970s, there was a radical change that occurred in our bakery goods that had a negative impact or potential negative impact on the health of our thyroid and function of our thyroid. And that thing was that in 1970, bromine, which is a mineral, was added to all of the bakery goods that started being produced back in the 1970s. Now, bromine is very similar in its structure to iodine. These are two minerals that are very similar in structure. The reason why this poses a problem is your thyroid gland is filled with iodine receptors. The iodine plugs into the receptors and helps the thyroid gland to function properly. This is almost like if you had a key and placed a key into the lock. If it's the right key, the lock opens and you can get in the door and do what you need to do in the house. Well, the same thing occurs with iodine. Iodine plugs into the receptor in the thyroid gland and then helps the thyroid to function properly, to make thyroid hormone, to do other things. When a person has a lot of bromine in their system, the bromine blocks the iodine's ability to get into the thyroid receptor. So it stops the iodine from doing its job. As a result of that, the thyroid then can't function properly. If a person's thyroid gland is not functioning properly because there's too much bromine in their system, there's certain symptoms are going to develop. One of them is the hair will start to fall out or become very thin. Their hands and their feet can become cold, and they can become excessively tired, where they just feel fatigued all the time despite how much sleep they get. The next thing that can happen is they can start to develop cravings for a variety of different types of carbohydrates, all kinds of sugary, sweet treats. They could also develop cravings specifically for bread, and sourdough bread is sometimes their favorite. The outer one-third of their eyebrow becomes lost and or thin, so there's a thinning notice. There's also an interesting phenomenon that occurs with the tongue. And what occurs here is if the person were to stick their tongue out and look in the mirror, they would see these indentations along the side of the tongue, these little kind of bumps or indentations that you see in the picture here. The person can also develop these vertical ridges in their fingernails. And of course, they gain weight, and the weight is really distributed all over the body. Um, under the arms, there becomes a flab or an extra material that tends to develop under the arms. If a person presents with those symptoms, there's usually a situation going on with the uh, thyroid, like the thyroid is just not functioning properly, because those are symptoms of an underactive thyroid or a problem with the thyroid. Now, many people would already be on Synthroid, which is a synthetic um, thyroid hormone by that time, because their blood values would have been affected, their medical labs. Um, or sometimes they're subclinical, meaning their medical labs have not yet shown that they have a major thyroid problem, but their body could still be deficient in iodine and toxic with bromine. So because there's so much bromine in the bread sources, if a person has eaten a lot of bread, like everyone has over their lifetime, uh, and the bromine is in their body, there's a special way that we check for that as well as a special way that we check for iodine. The way it works is this. Uh, you take a very specialized form. This is the, the lab test right here. You take a very specialized form of iodine. This is what it is right here. This comes with your kit. There's one tablet in here. You take a specialized form of this iodine, um, and it's a 50 milligram tablet. And you take that, and then over the next 24 hours, over the next 24 hours, you collect your urine in a jug, like this. And then you take part of that urine, and you place it in, there's two of these vials, but you place it in one of these vials. And then those vials are sent out to the lab. Now, as I said, you're taking a 50 milligram iodine sample first thing in the morning and then collecting your urine for that 24 hour period. Your body should excrete at least 45 milligrams of this 50 milligram tablet in your urine, meaning at least 45 milligrams of iodine should be showing up in your urine. If it's not, if it's less than that, meaning only 20 milligrams show up or 10 or five or some people zero milligrams show up, what this basically means is the body is so deficient in iodine, it's just sucking up all the iodine, and it's trying to use it to help the thyroid function properly. Um, in any event, 
So the body should be excreting at least 45 milligrams, if not all 50. And uh, there should be very little bromine that shows up in the urine too. So if you have high levels of bromine and there's, you know, you're not excreting much of this iodine into the urine, then that indicates that your thyroid is, one, being blocked by bromine, the bromine stopping the iodine from getting to the thyroid, and two, your thyroid is deficient in iodine, so your body's not going to be able to function as well as they should. So depending upon the level of bromine in your system, and depending upon how deficient you are in iodine, there are certain protocols that we put you on. There's different types of iodine that we use based on how deficient you are, and there's also different ways to detox and remove bromine. Uh, neither one are very complicated, and neither one are very expensive. Um, but there's just different methods. So we need to have the labs uh, done so we know where you're at, so we know how to properly 